<laughs> what? Hmm. Hey, this is Josh Builds, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build sonar glasses that detect objects. These would basically be used if you were visually impaired or you couldn't see for some reason because it's dark outside or smoky or something like that. For this project, we're going to need a PCB that I got from PCBWay and a few other parts. All of them together came up to about $30 and I'll post links in the description below. This here is a LiDAR sensor. Basically, it sends out a pulse to detect an object and measures how long it takes for the pulse to return. So we're going to plug three of these into our PCB and have them each facing different directions so that we know what's in front of us and what's in our peripherals. Now we're going to plug in an Arduino Nano into our PCB. Now the printed circuit board basically does some of the wiring for us, so all we need to do now is solder these parts into place. The Arduino basically acts as a mini computer which we can program to do whatever we want. Next we needed some way to lower the voltage so that we're not giving our Arduino too much power. For this I'm going to use the boost converter. Now once I wire the boost converter up to the battery, I can plug it directly into the Arduino via this USB port. But as you can see this cable is really bulky. So to make it more compact, I get the red and black wire and I solder it to the bottom of our boost converter. And then all we have to do is attach it to the ground and the end of the Arduino. Now we can set up the buzzer. They can all share the same ground, so we can hook all those up to the same wires. And for the 5 volt pin, we'll hook each of those up to different wires. Now we can attach all of this into place and glue all the parts down. Now we can attach the ground and the positive wires for each buzzer. Now this might be a bit hard to follow, so in the description below I'll post a link to where you can find a circuit diagram of all this. And then all we have to do is solder these into place. Now once we glue this all into place, the only other electrical part left of this is to program the Arduino. For that all you have to do is plug the Arduino in with the cord we saw before to your computer and load the code onto it. Now I'll leave the code in the description of the video to where you can find it. Now to finish this project off, we're just going to create some straps so that it can fit around your head and then we can go ahead and test it out. Alright guys, so this is the final product we got here. Basically I figure either blind people would use this or if you want to walk around in the dark, these would be your night vision goggles to basically stop you from running into obstacles. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn this on now and test it out. Right. So let's see, wait for it to get started. There we go. And as you see, as my hand comes closer to my face, the beeping becomes quicker and quicker. So now let me bring it back, and then we can try the side sensor. So if you were walking around outside, you know if you're approaching an obstacle from either side because different buzzers go off. So right now the side buzzer is going off, you probably can't tell the difference, but before the middle buzzer was going off. So I can hear where the sound's coming from. And then we can try this side as well. And there you go.
Thanks for watching to the end of this video. If you liked it, please be sure to like and subscribe and also hit that notification button so you can see when I post a new video. Thanks.